I recently took the Myers-Briggs personality test for a little fun and found out I apparently fall into the INFJ personality type, INFJ standing for introversion, intuition, feeling and judgement. Apparently this is the rarest personality type in the world with less than 3% of people falling into this category, with INFJs exhibiting idealistic values but realistic or pragmatic practicality. It got me thinking, how can someone identify if they might have an INFJ personality? Well, in this video we look at signals that you might have an INFJ personality type. Number 1. You're introverted INFJs are naturally introverted people who have little desire in socialising in large groups, such as at parties or social events. Instead, INFJs may feel happier with having a more intimate or closer relationship with a smaller group of people, those they trust and understand. That doesn't mean that INFJs are uncomfortable in social situations and may be misunderstood as extroverts if talking about something important to them. This is something I've come across myself, as people have believed I'm naturally extroverted due to certain behaviours I show. Number 2. You're an idealist an INFJ has very strong beliefs about the world and what changes they would like to see in it, usually related to personal values and ideals. As a result, it can be very difficult to sway certain opinions of an INFJ, as they've got very clear reasons as to why they believe what they do. This might appear as quite a stubborn attitude to have, but sometimes it's invaluable too in achieving your goals. For example, Mahatma Gandhi, an INFJ, achieved phenomenal results as he fought for India's freedom against British rule due to his unwillingness to concede on his ideals. Number 3. You judge people on feeling INFJs naturally build close relationships to people, especially when they get opportunities to spend time with them individually. This can help to build extremely close friendships, which can lead to a great deal of trust and people being made to feel special as they are unique in the eyes of the INFJ. However, this can also lead to a lot of emotional charge in the relationships, which influences the views of the INFJ and how they feel about people. Therefore, someone may do something seemingly innocuous to an INFJ, but this can have a great effect on how the INFJ views the person, as they focus on how the person made them feel, not necessarily just what they did. Number 4. You're constantly thinking As with all introverts, INFJs are in constant thought throughout the day as they reflect on various things in the world. This ranges from thoughts about their own personal lives or people around them, but can often be of a larger scope, about world issues or other far ranging thoughts. They also have a desire to learn new things, whether it be information or new skills, learning is often a pleasurable and fulfilling experience for an INFJ. A good example of someone who fits this profile as an INFJ is the infamous psychologist Carl Jung. Number 5. You have a vision INFJs often have a vision of how they see life and these are often looking ahead into the future and knowing what they want to achieve. This isn't too surprising when you consider the previous point on thinking, as they spend a lot of time reflecting about life and the world that they live in. A potential flaw with this though is that it's easy to lose focus on the present, which is equally important. Therefore, having relationships with people that are well grounded can be highly beneficial for an INFJ. Do you think you might be an INFJ? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads.